Hey everyone, it is Thursday night at 4.33. I actually have um, an Amazon Flex block tonight that I will be heading to. It starts, crap, it starts at 5.15 and you can get there 15 minutes early. So I am going there to be there at five, but I have to stop and pick up my daughter's iPhone from uh, the You Break My Fix store I told you guys about in a previous video because I had to have the screen replaced. So once I pick this up, I'm gonna stop at Starbucks to get my coffee and off to the warehouse we go. And I'm gonna try to show you as much as I possibly can tonight, all right? So I will see you guys at the warehouse on the way to the warehouse. You're able to see the directions to the station an hour before your block time. Once you press start to location, they ask you a few safety questions and about COVID. And then they give you the option to either use their in-app map or you can press the little square with the line coming out of it to use either Waze or Apple Maps or whichever map you prefer. And then they show you the directions to the warehouse and you're on your way. At the bottom, you can see that it says um, arrive at the station between 5 p.m. and 5.20 p.m. That is the 15 minutes prior to the block. 5 p.m. and then they allow you to check in five minutes after your block starts too. Anything after that and they don't allow you to check in I assume. I've never actually gotten there past that time so I don't quite know exactly what happens. Regulators. You regulate any stealing of his property. Here you see I'm pulling into the parking lot of the warehouse. I won't be able to record anything from inside the warehouse though. After scanning all my packages, I loaded them into my car in the most organized way. This is the label that you see on the outside of the packages where you scan that QR code. And then this yellow label is the one that tells you the order of the packages in correspondence with the stops. Alright, so we are out of the station. So what happened is um, when I pulled up to the station, they did things a little bit different. This was at the St. Petersburg warehouse um, that I usually don't like to go to because it takes forever. I'm always late uh, getting out of there. Um, so I think Amazon finally did something about it because they changed the way they do everything. So when I arrived at the station, there was a guy like right when you pull in and you get ready to go towards the you know, the line of cars that get, have to check in. There was a guy who was looking for our names and checking to make sure we had a schedule. So, um, my name was not on the list because I picked this shift up last minute. If I had picked this shift up, like, days ahead of time, my name would have been on the list. So, um, he let me through. And then at the regular check-in point, the guy just checked again to make sure. And then he told me which lane to go in. There was no parking. I was shocked. So when we arrived, they gave us a piece of paper here that I will take a picture of and um, explain it to you. Well, basically, they're trying to tell us that we need to scan all of our packages first and then put them in the vehicle. And that's like, to me, that's time consuming. And the lady told me that it's because technically we're not supposed to be organizing the packages at the station. We're supposed to be doing it off site. And they think that that's what's taking so long. I'm sorry, but I scan, I go by the number. So I scan and then put it either front seat, back seat, or trunk, depending on what number's on the sticker. So it's really not much different than scanning it and putting it in my car, scanning and putting it in my car. It really isn't. Um, I actually thought it took me longer today because I was scanning multiple ones and then putting them in the car. But I, I get what they're trying to do, and I respect that they're trying to get us out of there on time and early because normally we don't. Normally we get out late, and then Amazon has to pay us late. So I know I get paid if I work late. I don't work for free. So um, I showed you I have all the packages. I got 39 packages, and I'm headed. It's 25 minutes to Dunedin. <laughs> yes, I'm done eating. <laughs> Get it? I know, a tacky joke. But yeah, I'm, so I'm headed um, 25 minutes to my first stop. I had one package that wouldn't scan because they put the label 
on the top, so the actual well, QR code thing, it was on the, um, the indent, like the closures of the box. So for some reason it wouldn't let me scan it. So I had to type in the actual um, numbers. So the numbers, um, they start with a TB, I think A, and then there's a, like maybe 12 numbers. Those numbers are um, like kind of like the label number that identifies the packages. So um, I had to enter, I had to go to the question mark when I was on the scanner screen. I had to go to the question mark in the upper right hand corner, which is pretty much where you go when there's anything that you don't know how to do. Check there first. That's where you go to call the customer, to text the customer, when um, you have to say that like something's missing or or anything. I, that's where you go. So I went there and I said uh, unable to scan package so I yeah, manually enter the ID and then I entered the ID and it made the <laughs> noise and scanned it for me. Um, so I am all set. That did kind of slow me down a little bit um, just because I tried a couple times to scan it because I really didn't want to have to sit there and have to enter the whole um, ID number, but it wasn't too bad. Like, my shift starts at, started at 5.15. I've already been driving for 10 minutes, okay? I was out of the... Driving out of the station at 5.15. And that never, ever happens. Like, this is good. This is good. And surprisingly enough, I don't have an hour to 50 minute drive. I just have a 25 minute drive and I am so psyched about that. So I'm hoping that we get done early tonight. But it is almost about 40 packages, so I think I'll be all right. So I will see you at stop number one. So once you arrive, you press that you have parked, then you have to press to scan packages. You scan the package, and then you basically bring the package up to wherever they say they want you to put it, which is basically at the front door more, more often than not. And then once you get up to the front door, you have to press continue with package delivery, and then I think continue again, and then you put down the front door and continue. You place the package down, you take a picture of the package, you use this photo. I usually knock on the door or ring the doorbell. And then as I walk away, I swipe to finish. You just do that about 39 times. <laughs> Here I'm walking up a long driveway. There was lots of woods around the house. Uh, you couldn't really see anything. This is the pathway. Luckily enough, I had my flashlight with me. I always try to remember to bring a flashlight. This is the package I had trouble with at the beginning. See how it's on the crease for the QR code? So I'm showing you exactly how I have to manually enter the ID. See, it shows you where you get the ID from right here. And right there, you see I'm typing the ID. And then once I type the ID, I press continue and it will scan the package for me, as if I had scanned the QR code. Now we can deliver the package. There's a screen door and that actually opens. I will leave the package, if it's small enough, especially with envelopes, in between the front door and the screen door 
so that way nobody can really see it from the street because we're supposed to hide it from the street and when they open the door it'll be right there so um i don't know i think it works out pretty well um but yeah we're, we're just moving getting along i mean we just keep doing the same thing over and over again i'll show you if something exciting comes up <laughs> i hopefully it's an uneventful night i really hope so all right so the front seat is empty and it's 6 22. down and one left to go so it's 7 15 i'm on package number i just dropped off package number 23 out of 37 that we have here um i had to stop and reorganize everything so i did i took the stuff out of the trunk and i filled up my back seat so let's go three minutes to the next stop something going on in this town there's a big huge fire somewhere I can smell it and for the past hour all I can hear is sirens I can smell it right now and like I said all I can hear is sirens Once I press swipe to finish, it kind of calculates everything and then it'll bring you to another screen where it asks you a question. It's always a different question. And then that's it. Your shift is over. All right, that was the last package and it is 8.07. Can you hear that? There's something going on. Over an hour, that's all I've been hearing. Kind of scary. But, um, so I'm done. Now I gotta try to find my way home. 